Let's just have three guys designate his name. Call him. Let's get two balls. No simple warm up drill. We love the four arm drill. We love some of this dance stuff. Let's say, yep, let's just say, you're here. Two balls, two balls, two balls. Yep, yep. And then we'll line up our guys. Back taps. We're working on back taps. We have inside hands, right? Transition defense and pressing. You know, especially pressing. I think the misnomer is that you know you take people's basketball, right? You, it's all about intercepting passes. The most success we've had in pressing uh, as a head coach has been with our back flow. It's been with our back flow. You guys, you get guys sped up and you make poor decisions and you get them sped up, right, with, with running them down, right, with, with back taps. So you'll be here, please. Yep. You'll be right behind him. Yep. We'll have a line here, line here. You'll be the next guy. So you might just hang out down there. And you'll just be right here. We do this with our managers to get three or four of them out of here. And you'll go like two-thirds speed. You're going to let them catch you, but you want to make them realistic. When you're on up, when he takes off, you guys are on the up, right? And you're trying to get an inside back tap. We're not trying to, we're not trying to grab the ball with two hands. How many times have you seen that, right? It's just not realistic. And then when you come down, what happens a lot of times? They call fouls, correct? So we, we've got to give it up for our teammate ahead, but we're just trying to punch that ball up in the air and most of the And my man's going to take off and run. I'm going to give him the ball. Okay, you've got to go through half court. I, I, I say half court, the half court circle. Okay? So you gotta, you gotta, and you cannot leave this spot until he touches the coat. So you're probably going to get beat. You're probably going to get beat. Probably going to make you feel better to get a little bit. Okay. Now down here, everybody can do something different in this in this area. Some people, um, so offensively, if if I'm here and I'm on the block, you can do a lot of different things, right? If it's coming right at you, you can switch sides. A lot of people do that. Actually, one thing that we like to do. This is great. I can't wait to go see you, man. This. <laughs> <laughs>
I we let the white team go. Everybody get their possession and the gray team gets to go. Okay? Alright, here we go. So that's what we're looking at. You understand? All right. So 
that's one of the things we do. But we're going to stay here in the half court right now. This is what I need. So, uh, light and defense, great offense. Everybody down here, now, I just wanted to show that 202 stretch. All right, so now building our core principles, our shell, okay? So I need offense, defense, gray, gray on offense, white on defense. Can you take this quarter for me? So now we talk a lot about, again, we talk about jumping to the ball, sprinting and help, okay? The other thing we talk about a lot about is we call it scrape. Some people say denied, some people are pack line. We want to be in scrape. Uh, again, I stole it, just so you know. Danny Hurley, when he was at Rhode Island, we went up to watch them uh, one summer, and, and their teams were really good defensively. And so we consider, we would consider this denied also, just so you know. So when we talk about being a straight, bring his foot up, boom, I'm here. And now, back up just a little bit, toe in that three-point line, boom, hand in that pass lane. So now if RJ was to throw the pass, my hand could scrape that ball and get a deflection. So our positioning in the gap, we call it straight. So it's not pack line, it's not like we're not sitting in that gap a whole lot, and it's not like Coach Mark was at South Carolina. Well, man, we're in that passing lane and just denying the hell out the ball, right? We want to be in straight because, again, we're trying to help on containment. We're trying to be there to uh, discourage and contest threes, okay? So what I want you to do right here, RJ, you guys are going to move the ball around. I want you to start right there, go to Jane. Oh, all right, good. Zach is in straight, so you're calling straight, straight, straight. All right, now we throw it back. Boom, we're here. Now we get into this theme park. Boom, now. All right, right now, all right, so you're two passes away, right? So you would drop, can you see, can, no, stay right there, perfect, it's perfect, no, stay there, Dawson. Can you see, can you see, uh, Jay? Nope, I'm getting a lob up right there, feel me? So, you always wanna be low to where you can see ball and man, okay? Chest to the man, so right there. But I want you to be one foot in, one foot out, move up a step, all right? And your chest is always to him, all right? Perfect, now, now move, move up the line, though, right? If I roll the ball, Dawson, right, Dawson, if I roll the ball right there, you would be able to get it. That's what you, that's what you want to be, understand? So now you can see both, all right? P, be in that corner. So now, if I, okay, yep, you got it. So now, if he hit Coach P in that corner, boom. Now, both of you guys are on the midline. You're, now you're going to step over. Turn those hips and go. Now, but your job is to not get too low. Perfect, right there. Got it? Now, go ahead. You have to watch the ball, okay, you see both. So there you go, drop all those where you can see both, but we always in time want to keep our chest right there to our man. Got it now. When that ball hits Coach P, again, that communication is unbelievably important. What I want offense to do is exchange. So RJ, you go here, Jack, you come here. And when that happens, you tell the you tell the Jack, drop, drop. And so Jack, when you're drop, you're always dropping inside closest to that ball. My stance is never changing. I'm dropping inside, and I'm here, boom, I'm right there where I need to be. Got me? All right, I want, I'm going to go offense, defense, and then exchange, and we'll go. Got it? So I need two white for up. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. Big pump on that exchange, now I need to hear drop, 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 drop. Here we go. Good. I need to go help. Do it. Dawson, you got to move. But again, this is what we're, this is what we mean. Give it back right there, Pete. All right. If I'm Dawson, right, uh, get a ball here. All right, bang. I'm here, high hand on that closeout. That ball's going. I'm jumping to that ball, trying to take it, but I'm in strength, right? Ball goes there. That's why I got to turn those hips and start to help. Now I'm here. I am right here. I'm one in, one out, right? That ball goes there. Bang. I'm in line, in line. That exchange comes. Drop, jab, drop, jab, drop, jab. Bang. That now stay on that line. Got it? All right, here we go. So we call this 80%, okay? Simple, simple. And I'm trying to be, we started going to head coach 11 years, let's say nine years ago. And every year, the more we do it, the better we should be. Okay. So again, if you only have two goals, I may not be talking to you. You have four or six. Really simple. So we try to get our juices full in practice, and we'll go like 10 or 12 minutes before we put 80% in. Alright, so you want to be breathing heavy, you want to have a ladder, and then we'll finish the task and drill with 80%. Alright? And so we'll just park up, we have four goals here. So even them out, yep, maybe you four, you four. So you have 
you have a one in one, period. If you miss, you have to move. And we also were blessed to have this staff too. Uh, but I would, I would challenge you that if you have, you know, a couple managers, you stand up over here in the corner and you have one count misses and you have one count makes. Right? And so if you miss, don't say get back, you gotta move. And the next guy's got a one and one. And the next guy's got a one and one. And if we have two minutes on the court, excuse me, on the clock, we have two minutes on the clock, and she's got a two minutes on the she's got a she's got a guy there, she's got a driver real quick, and she'll say, this amount or this amount. 78% we get on the line and we run. And then we'll go another 10 minutes of practice and we'll do another 80%. And to me, that's the best way that we find to simulate fatigue, free throws, winded free throws, pressure free throws. You know, you know, a lot of us grew up, and I did, when we all get on the line and one guy gets one on one, it's just not quite as efficient. Uh, so utilize, you know, if you have goals, utilize them and get as many free throws as possible when you're winning. What do I teach in free throw shooting? I don't care about routine. I don't, I used to when I was a young head coach, I you know, had some OCD, like, I want you to do that. Hey, we're, all, we're all individuals, we all have a routine and a rhythm, and these young people feel good about whatever they want to do, three dribbles, seven dribbles, no dribbles, whatever. I just preach for our guys, routine, pause, breathe, shoot. That's it, that's it. We've had some really good free throw shooters, obviously, but that's my favorite throw, 80%, uh, to get as many up as possible. You guys got any? Outside of that, that is an invisible circle, or the invisible circle of gravity, okay? So we'll have a tracer of the basketball, okay? Space a little bit further, okay? We call this circle passing. Simple, simple drill, okay? Don't even know where we got our easy in attack. We were a really good passing team, and we still do it to this day. With certain teams that we had at Florida, we do it more than other teams based on, you know, your strengths and weaknesses and what you're trying to get out of. We had a couple of teams where we had, we had to do it every single day because we really struggled with passing the basketball. So, my favorite passing drill. It's also good with uh, defensively tracing the basketball, okay? Anticipating, communicating, and rotating, all right? This guy's gonna trace the ball. Okay? These guys can't dribble. You can't pass to the guy next to you. Right? So you've got to pass to this teammate or this teammate. You're an interceptor. You're a tracer. You've got to work on your save, bounce, ball skills. Right? Pass fakes, pivots, step throughs. Right? Right hand passes. All hand passes. Okay? We want to throw directs. Defensively, you don't want to allow directs. You want to trace the ball. Tracing the ball is a skill that's learned with either hand, right? You want to create tips and get out of transition. So let's say we allow a pass to this teammate. We're going to do a ball, 22 is going to do a ball. Next ball, you're going to rotate to play two, right? You wouldn't rotate here or here because he can't pass to these guys. So if you're playing cat and mouse and you're trying to you're trying to talk him into a turnover while you're tracing the basketball. So let's say if you hit here, what are we doing? Ball, yep, you're tracing the ball. Yep, you're rotating, you're playing two. And another thing that we'll preach in this drill is checking the defense, having a plan before you catch the ball. We talk about shot preparation a lot, but we also want to preach pass preparation, right? Especially playing against strong. While that ball's in the air, let's say you throw it here, he shouldn't be staring at the teammate, he shouldn't be staring at the ball, he should be really locked in the hoop. It's like video game, right? Locked in the hoop. These two defenders out this periphery, right? The best passers see you and where you're rotating. And while he's able to manage your tracing and pressure of the basketball, he's able to move you with pass fakes and pivots to manipulate the defense. Right? We got it? We know the rules. Yes? Coach, you got anything else? Do it a little bit, perfect. You're right here. You're right here. Can't throw the guy next to you. Simple drill, my favorite passing drill. Let's go.
what the chaos of this? Are you serious? You're not telling me every little move today? No, I'm not. No, okay, guys. No, okay, girls. Don't tell them. Figure it out. Work through it. Actually, love the drill. Really love the drill. And you can go, um, you know, we'll make it competitive. So, or you can just, you know, you get a point if you get into flexion. Yeah, I'm going 
We're defending the basket and the ball with five guys. What can Jake do right now without the ball that could hurt us? Huh? Could he? Right. But if I'm here, right? If I'm on this midline, right? And he cut, cut Jake. Jake, hey, I can see that, right? I can guard him. But if I'm over here, think about this. If I'm just sitting here, coach, swing the ball. Drive it, coach. Can I be nice to him? Now you go, right? So don't worry about going to your man, right? Flip it, here we go, here we go. Oh, this is the defense, let's go. Can you do the right? 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 Let's go.
Now think about this right here. How many guys did you see close out? All right, and this is you know, our first time, so don't think I'm talking about it. We've been working for our team for like two weeks. We're still talking about high hands, right? To discourage the three. But how many guys did you see close out with their hand here? Like I told you, I was like, hey, this is a high hand. This is a high hand. I was a DC three point shooter. When I saw this, I was like, okay. But when I saw that, dead rights. All right, dead rights. All right, and they're right up here. That's the pretty good shooter, too. All right, you see that hand right there, that hand there? Done. All right, so tell us, this is how I'm through. Let's really focus on getting that hand high and really throw that weight back. All right, so now when you slide, man, I'm going to balance. A couple of you guys, you can close it out here. Trump hand, right? You, you're not going to balance it. Throw that weight back, back, high again. Take that step. Got it? Here we go, man. Let's go. Here we go. Layup, right? 
So what we're trying to do again, we don't want to give up uncontested threes, right? We want to give up, all right, discourage at first, right? Now he shoots, I can contest that late. I tell him all the time, as long as you close around with a high hand and you can test that thing late, right? If it go in, it go in, right? But I'm telling you, over the course of the game, fellas, ain't nobody hitting that 40% of the time. They're going to be somewhere 32, 33. That's the number we're looking for. We understand that, all right? Now, the other thing about our coach, I'm shooting for it as a right. I'm shooting for it as my left. However, if you want to preach shot prep, here's a really simple drill. Okay? So, we're going to preach split step. So, I hope we can at least try to do that. Okay? Uh, so, you're gonna, what you're going to do as a passer is you're going to lead him to his right. And you're going to split step. That's it. That's it. So, it's about his habits, his reps. You're going to lead him to his right. Just like that. Now you're going to lead him to what? We're going to do something different. You just went to the right. You got it? So, you want, obviously, guys, they got to buy into it. It's a really simple drill. But it's, it's an opportunity to get 10 or 12 full speed without really exerting themselves in a row of running the practice. And it helps them to carry over if you get some player development. You go live, and that shot preparation, that footwork will carry over. You got it? So leave him to the right, and leave him to the left. Leave him to the right, leave him to the left. And let's work on those split steps, okay? Here we go. Good. Have a little imagination. You want to look around. Again, I think, I think the biggest, we're going five on four. And we've got numbers. We don't want that ball to stick, right? We've got numbers. We want to move it. Let's say you shoot it. And then we'll finish coming back five on five. Generally, five on five. You're going to get up and move the quicker. You're probably going to blow in your, your offense. Right? More than likely. Yeah. 